welcome to a new edition of The Brand Called You. Today, I'm absolutely honored and delighted to have Latika Tukra with me. Latika, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Latika is really well known. She's the co-founder of I Am Gurgaon, which is really keeping all of us in Gurgaon sane and making our lives so much easier. She's the recipient of the Nari Shakti Award from the President of India. And before that, uh, she was Senior Vice President of Citibank for 18 years. Latika, what an amazing journey you had. Okay. Tell me a little bit about your early career before you get into I am Gurgaon. Okay, so um, I joined Citibank. Uh, that's almost like my first job. I used to be with ITC for a short stint and a management oh, trainee from okay. there. Yes, and a management oh. trainee from there. But uh, I was city for 18 years and I think uh, one of the most wonderful years of my life mm. and I've learned, to s learned so much from there. Mm. Um, actually, I, uh, my, uh, between my husband and I, we were both traveling 10 to 15 days a month. Mm. Our boys were 10 and 12. I just took a sabbatical mm. and nobody believed that I would give up. Mm. I also didn't believe that I would, but I just took a sabbatical, enjoyed it so much, didn't go back mm. and then didn't know what I would be doing. Mm. Uh, it, and everybody believes that I gave up to uh, start I am Gurgaon, which is not true. Mm. It was just that, um, uh, that you know, I, I want to take some time off. Mm. And then while I was doing this and wondering what to do, one of the things was that you have moved into Gurgaon at the time you came in, you have brought your children here. You need to be responsible for the action you have Correct. taken in terms of, you know, our kids shouldn't be cribbing to us and saying, mm. where did you get it? And I think they should be cribbing now where mm. we have got them. Mm. Uh, and that got me to uh, work on I am Gurgaon. And we were lucky, uh, Swanza, um, uh, Ambika and I co-founded uh, co I am Gurgaon. And three of us felt there was a need to do something for your city. Okay. I didn't think this will become so big. Mm. Uh, when we started, we thought it will be half day job. Okay, mm. thoda we will mm. do for the city mm. and all that. But uh, it's taken over our So lives. tell me, when you started, what was the initial kind of thought you had for I am Gurgaon? And then we'll come to what it is today. Okay. Uh, so uh, when we started, uh, like I was saying that the intent was to work with the government, work with the people around here, uh, with citizens, school children, everybody, just to be able to give your time. I basically wanted to sit in the MCG office and say, can I give my time? And then you realize that it doesn't work like that. You have to have your own outfit and help them. Uh, so that's how I am Gurgaon got formed. And uh, there were many people living uh, in Gurgaon who became part of the group. Uh, they all were feeling the angst of, uh, you know, the, the rampant mm -hmm. growth of, uh, of, of Gurgaon. Yeah. Uh, so that's how we uh, started it. And uh, I was very nervous in the sense that, you know, when you start something like this, when you're, in, when you're working for big corporates, mm -hmm. you're very shielded. Correct. Uh, you are part of the process, you mm -hmm. know, you're part of the big, large organization. Mm -hmm. There's somebody taking care of you. You have to take action based on what is given to you. Mm -hmm. Here, everything is on you. Correct. It is, you are asking for money from people you know. Uh, they are looking at you. You are a role model. So everything is on you. So there is a huge amount of responsibility Correct. which comes in when you do a job like this. Correct. And I didn't know. I mean, uh, honestly, uh, there are people who have told me that the uh, uh, one of the reasons if I am Gurgaon and this I'm talking about earlier years, if it will fail, it will be because of you and if it, 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 it does well, it's also because of right. you because I was never ready to make it big. Correct. You know, you were always in, uh, worried about that where will the money come from, uh, if I open an office space, what, how will it happen, you know, you're always mm. concerned mm. about the money. Mm. And uh, I, I mean, today, can't believe where we have got it and uh, okay. I have Gurga has been able to, we're so, so fortunate Amazing. to deliver such wonderful projects Amazing. in Gurga. I agree. You know, so I've often seen this with so many people, everyone talks, yeah. everyone says, I wish I could do something. A lot of people say, I wish someone would do something. But they don't put their hand up. Yes. You and uh, your co-founders actually have put, not only put your hand up, but have taken incredible steps. What motivated you other than just saying, I want to be in a place which want to do is good for my children? Yeah. You know, uh, so I think uh, all of us felt that we need to do something about Gurgaon. Mm. And uh, I would say that we were fortunate that there were officers who were sitting around there, encourage us to do it. Mm. So they were helping, you know, they were helping us to uh, uh, 
to uh, give us projects they were helping us to allow us to do something so that got us motivated it's been a very tough journey i, I mean i keep telling myself with my legs knife i will never do something <laughs> like this okay. but uh, but when you see the results and today you are in a very comfortable uh, position because you've delivered uh, a lot mm. but earlier years were very very tough very tough uh, not because um, money was an issue money is never an issue money comes when you do good okay. work the issue was uh, people judge you they can't believe that somebody is doing it for free they can't understand that you don't you're not making no agenda, no agenda. you're not uh, making money uh, you actually want to give back to the society you actually are spending your own money to run an outfit like this so and and everybody has an opinion everybody wants to tell you that how you are doing wrong uh, so it, and every officer has his own plan so if you if you're working with the government agency some like you some don't like you and the ones who don't like you just have to lie low and say he will get transferred mm -hmm. and uh, i will sail through so it's it's a very very tough journey mm -hmm. but uh, but today uh, i'm glad we did it uh, we have uh, I'm, I'm glad as a gurgaon yeah yeah it. no can you imagine a 380 <laughs> acres of forest in gurgaon by people of gurgaon yeah. contribution by people of gurgaon yeah. so i'm going to come to that part but tell me you know you my you have been dealing with bureaucracy politicians what has been your experience i mean there must be good people yeah, and yeah, tough yeah, people yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, uh while uh, been working for this is 11th year going uh, we've got good officers mm -hmm. and officers i wouldn't say bad officers but officers who don't like you mm -hmm. or officers who have their own agenda Correct. or officers who are not competent Correct. you know so there are all kinds of officers so the officers who are uh, who who think they want to encourage you to do because they think good for the city and they see people who are doing good work and might as well encourage them to do their right. work you benefit and mm -hmm. you kind of mm -hmm. uh, deliver mm -hmm. and you're able mm -hmm. to do so much yeah. Yeah. but the ones who don't they they really bring you down mm -hmm. you know i have had very very bad experiences mm -hmm. where an officer dislikes you he's running you down he's uh, not uh, letting you do anything you have to bite time right. and you learn to bite time and uh, and then the media sometimes is very unkind and they they kind of pick pick up and pick you uh, pick on you so you go through this right. people run you down you know the biggest thing is people around you who try to run you yeah, down and we i guess we are also we love to criticize yeah. so nobody appreciates the effort so that's gone in but now no that's one changed. no one bothers me right. I don't care. Good. I don't care. You can say whatever about me. Uh, you, why don't you come and do it? Why good, very good. So, which was it? What was your first project that you took up? Okay, so the first project was uh, actually Arjun Mag Market. Okay. We we went ahead. So today, what you have parking in Arjun Mag Market? We actually negotiated and worked with the association, the DLF association, and work with them to. clean up the area okay. and we did manage to clean up the area where all of it, uh, all mm. the shops went in and all of it is back to normal mm. and create parking and directions and okay. all that so that was our first project okay. uh then we decided that um, and then we used to do these roundabouts yeah. and all that then mm. we decided we want to do something which will impact the city you know which will be a big which is something is not near our homes but it is for everyone in the city and that's how uh, biodiversity park Correct. came up uh, when we started we didn't know what it would be uh, i can't say that we knew the plan in place we knew that we wanted to create so a so tell me a little bit about the biodiversity park you said okay. 380 acres. acres so tell me about so this. arabli biodiversity park is a, is a it used to be a mining site it was a forest in erswan it became a mining site mm -hmm. and when we uh, started working on that project it was um, it was only had prosperous juliflora which is a pest just for our listeners mining site means that's where they were quarrying mm -hmm. stones absolutely right. the quartzite was uh, okay. uh, 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 and and it stopped in 1992 okay. so still then there was mining happening uh with mining all the vegetation died mm -hmm. and the whole place was like uh, you know there are bowls being uh, bowls out there and um, and when we started we decided that uh, our aim to take over biodiversity park or was to work with, actually we didn't take over we were working with the government mm -hmm. helping them atul kapoor was helping them design the uh, uh, the yeah. whole area mm -hmm. walking path cycling mm -hmm. paths and at that time we were calling it park i wish we had called forest then mm -hmm. but you know it's a uh, lack of uh, understanding okay. at that stage of life 
and then uh, while we were doing that um, uh, I, we had no intent honestly uh, i am gurgaon has evolved mm. we had no intent to be doing everything ourselves we just wanted to help the government that they can do they can pay for it they will do it we will just be there yeah. as supporters yeah. i don't know what happened uh, that was in 2011 uh this uh, this thing got into us that why don't we plant million trees in gurgaon okay and that million trees gurgaon uh became like a thing in our head and saying that we will do it over one day and uh, all of a sudden everybody thought we are uh, yes. you know uh, i mean the, i still remember yeah. our commissioner mr rajpal he almost fell off the chair said million trees in gurgaon and he called the forest department said no 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 it's not possible nahi hai and now in hindsight i realize it wasn't possible in one day first mm-hmm. nobody is ready to give you space who will take care of it and things like that and that while we were talking about it uh, mr rajpal told me you want to plant million trees no why don't you start planting at the biodiversity mm-hmm. park we will uh, help you with watering and all that but all yours you will raise funds and you will do it mm-hmm. I said okay. Came back. Everybody thought I had gone batty, mm. uh, and we took on this uh, okay. whole thing. Mm. Money was like I said, money comes when you do a good job. People come Absolutely. and help you with yeah. money. Mm. So there were personal checks coming in and all this. And, and you know, mm. earlier days there were in, in Gurgaon there were not so many NGOs. Correct. There were not so many people doing these kind yeah. of things. Now yeah. everybody. I mean, I can count hundred mm. people who are doing such great work. Mm. But at that stage, there wasn't no. anyone. Yeah. So I um, and then we realized, okay, you have to plant trees. banker all our colleagues nobody knew what to do so we hired an expert uh, which came on board mm-hmm. and um, he helped us to pull through the uh, whole story of what to plant how to plant mm-hmm. what are the native species the only thing which we were very very clear and i think uh, we have held ground on every of our projects do the right thing Correct. don't compromise Correct. don't allow anybody to change your vision statement Uh, our vision was to create another forest a naravli forest uh, create an habitat and we went after that uh, it's not been easy uh, getting saplings was not easy we had to create a nursery uh, watering was a problem you had never done something like this so everything you had to learn i mean this must be the only place where we have a drip irrigation in a forest wow. but you because of your experience and uh, because of city bank has been kind to you know train me well you think big correct i could only think big i can't think small so you you are you were always clear that whatever you have to do it do it in large correct. scale so that's how a uh, million trees yes. gurgaon and you got. didn't get your million trees no uh, we are about 1 lakh 84000 million okay. trees will take time sure. but we have a 100% survival rate fantastic and biodiversity park has about a lakh 20000 okay. planted More we used to plant uh, about 16 17000 a year don't want to do mm-hmm. more than 20 25 like last year we did 30000 which is the maximum yeah. we have done mm-hmm. in out other projects also mm-hmm. so and what has this done so many trees so it's become it a young forest it has. and if you go and see you can't recognize that place i okay. mean i rec- i know every tree planted where which corporate which year i can just tell you standing there okay. and but today uh, it's it's like a young forest yes. and um, there are birds to be seen mm-hmm. uh, frogs to be seen so the whole habitat has changed Fantastic. and uh, i think we're fortunate we're just uh, lucky to get this in gurgaon right. one good officer who pushed this through mm-hmm. others mm-hmm. helped us correct and uh, 80 corp- uh, so in, in biodiversity park we have had 64 corporates who have funded us wow small little mm. big whatever but uh, 64 corporates have funded us and that means so many more stakeholders in absolutely the park. and i remember the when forest. they wanted to make a road through it mm. everybody in the city felt it was their forest they were responsible for the forest and you so, managed to get the government to change because uh, they for now they are uh, thinking about it yeah. and not doing it but the point is that everybody feels for that space Correct. because it's Correct. there school children mm. who have come and planted mm. there are people like us who mm. have gone and planted mm. personal checks have come uh, so this just been everybody's been so involved in this yeah right? yeah so you know like tell me you know you said ambitious goals you meet them um, how do you motivate the hundreds or thousands of volunteers who uh, are coming and joining the movement you know uh, uh, ashutosh this when i started working on uh, i am gurgaon mm. and you got this kida about doing something for your city your country right. and all that stuff this i met somebody and who told me one thing he says because you have got this itch in you right. to do good mm. don't expect everybody to think alike correct so you have to do what you have to do 
and if people get inspired and people want to do it's great but don't judge anyone and that's the that's the philosophy we have kept and people there are a lot of volunteers who come sure. in and help you uh, so i think if they they come because they feel inspired okay. great but you don't uh, push anyone mm. like i can't get any of my friends to come okay. i mean it's so sad yeah. i can't get any of my friends to come mm. and uh, be part of the movement mm. half of them would have not seen biodiversity mm. park so what do you do mm. but um, you do get a lot of people coming mm. and helping you i mean i am surprised how people come and help yeah, you i agree it's such an amazing movement so tell me you know uh, you must be interacting with lots of millennials yeah and i have always seen millennials are far more aware of their environment and i'm old much no, older than you too. than i used to be yeah uh, no, and like we used to be yeah um, how are millennials changing uh, the city that we live in yeah. and what are they doing for ayam gurgaon so i think uh, one of the thing is schools being uh, uh, if you look at it it's the schools which have imparted that uh, in knowledge and information to them and i think schools have played a very important role mm-hmm. all our children stop uh, bursting crackers yeah. holy colors uh, are more responsible or uh, or throwing trash mm-hmm. in the uh, in the bin all that they they are more responsible than we are mm-hmm. and i think school has played a very important role True. and secondly i think uh, our generation also is become more aware because of them mm-hmm. and we are our we are all, uh, we are also trying to you know work with them Correct. i think these millennials are amazing yeah. you know they are uh, each day they you learn something from Correct. them and uh, i've had to take an example of my both boys mm-hmm. or the every day you learn from them they 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 kind of question you in a very objective Correct. manner and um, and there is always always you say you oh god if they can do it why the hell we can't do mm-hmm. it you know mm-hmm. so you're always mm-hmm. working mm-hmm. with them and, and i am very open to very learn good. any very, from very these good. kids very good but my question to you then is you know and this is a question maybe you can answer but it's addressed to the government every time the government plans a new township yeah mm-hmm. why can't they plan <laughs> for Uh, absolutely diversity park and why can't they plan for better infrastructure yeah. which is what would make your work so much easier so we always we, don't, we are not needed to well to, for maintenance purposes and yeah, like or other social people. consciousness yeah. etc what do you think happens in government planning i think there is no planning okay i think that is our basic problem mm. uh, we don't plan our cities mm. they come in a in a haphazard manner mm. and if we are we are so greedy we only thing which we are thinking of how the land can be utilized to construct more uh i don't know why we don't think of that the public spaces are important you know and and, and i'll come back to you and why i want to say the pl- public spaces are important uh it, one of the things is that so they don't plan secondly if they plan there is uh, there are offices change all the time so the planning doesn't go for a long period of time and the planning is also for a very short period of time nobody is planning for 20 years from now Uh, the cities can't be planned for 10 years and 5 years Correct. and i mean we don't have sewage lines in yeah. uh, in gurgaon yeah. and when they turn around and say that the city has grown in a haphazard mm-hmm. manner why did you let it grow yeah, absolutely why did you let it grow you shouldn't have let it grow yeah. um i mean you need to figure out where will you dump your waste mm-hmm. are there any uh, you know uh, are there public spaces there is a library whatever mm-hmm. everything needs to be on that Correct. plan Correct. and um, and also we keep changing our spaces so if there is a green space it's very easily turned into an apartment building mm. so it's it's a problem i agree so i think that's uh, yeah. one of the reason plus the the, the cities are planned by a draftsman sitting in some place mm. cities cannot be planned by right. them cities have to be planned by people True. who are on the ground who understand what needs to be done and how how it's important to involve everybody mm. i mean look at it there are e- ews flats are supposedly there mm. they are not occupied we mm. uh, look at the way our helps are living i mean they're living in slums not fair mm. it's just not fair mm. Mm. so there is an issue there is an issue and i think uh, we need to mm. really uh, really think about yeah. it how we are growing yeah. this and you were tell me about why public space yeah are so you know uh so uh, two or three projects which we have worked on one of them is the biodiversity park for me i think is the most exciting thing is 
that when we started working on Biodiversity Park and people from all walks of life come in there, people from villages, people from uh, uh, people like mm. us, children, whoever, mm. everybody comes mm. in there. You actually got to meet people from villages who used to live here, mm. you know, they know, uh, and we go, had an opportunity to interact with them. We get invited for their children's wedding. They will say Ram Ram to you in mm. the morning. They will smile at you. They will ask you about your children and you will ask about. Mm. They will ask you what kya in the project mm. mein or whatever. Mm. This is an interaction. Correct. And this we and us, the reason when they keep saying between them and us is because we are not interacting enough. They are as good or as bad uh, people in a Correct. city. Correct. And the other thing which I feel absolutely and I feel in the sense I am Gurgaon is delighted in that sense that we have been able to create and with the help of Forest Department and Mr. Sinha who was the officer at that mm -hmm. stage mm -hmm. is the Wazirabad Chakarpur Ban, okay. that 5 yeah. kilometer stretch. Yeah. That space is being used not for recreation, that is one part of it. Mm -hmm. It is a it is a urban mobility corridor, okay. which basically means people who come to work for you have a clean, safe space to move around. Amazing. And you are interacting with them. You see how they walk around there, how happy they are because they are in that space. Correct. You know, so Correct. I think we are uh, we miss out, we get so caught up by people like mm -hmm. us that, that are parties and are yeah. uh, living uh, and yeah. we forget about that there are people besides them, besides us Correct. and how they live Absolutely. and there is and, and you know everybody will smile at you mm -hmm. there is an interaction mm -hmm. there is their language and they also learn so much from yeah. us so yeah. it's yeah. very very important that public spaces are for everyone from whichever walks I, of life I, I agree with you so I think I have one more question on time Gurgaon before I move to a few questions for you personally. Um, given or wearing your former corporate hat, uh, with such a successful model, do you see replicating I am Gurgaon in multiple locations or getting partners who can I am Bangalore or I am Hyderabad? Every city needs help. Every city is doing something and there, there are people like us mm. in every city. Oh, there are. There okay. are. Uh, so I'm uh, my ambition or our team's ambition kind of stops at Gurgaon. Okay. And uh, uh, the, the two reasons why uh, you feel like that, we have a lot of corporates who says that if you're planting here, can you plant in Hyderabad mm -hmm. and Bangalore and other places. See, we dirty our hands. Correct. Every of our plantation, one of us from the team will be there. Mm -hmm. We interact with the Malis, we interact with people around us. Mm -hmm. I can't do it if we move Correct. to other cities. Yeah. And we... We want to just do enough. Yeah. I mean, that's not, I mean, there is no, uh, we are not doing it because we need, it's an ambition. You're doing it because you want to make a okay. difference to your city. We are yeah. fortunate to yeah. get that opportunity and want to keep it at that. Wonderful. There are no more ambitions. Wonderful. So my next few questions for you personally. You know, over the years, first in Citibank and then your sabbatical mm -hmm. time and then I am good now. Have you had any people who uh, have had a strong influence on your life? And if yes, what have you learned from them? Okay, so uh, there's just not been one person no, or whatever. Sure, so sure. there are uh, like uh, when I uh, quit, so there have been a lot of uh, bosses who you work for yeah. and who have influenced you and uh, you know made you to what you are in your corporate life. The uh, the people. So when I decided to work on uh, I am Gurgaon, we were a clean slate. Mm -hmm. You didn't know what it was, what it meant to be an yeah. NGO and things like that. And once you got into it. There are so many people doing good work. Mm. You are amazed at that. And forget about we are known, we are doing on the ground. There are people who give up money. There are people who uh, do, you know, look after dogs, yeah. time. I mean, I don't know uh, how much people do. Mm. And you kept learning and figuring out and meeting people. And mm. I, every time when you say, oh, we are doing so much, I feel we are not doing enough. Mm. Uh, and that's what keeps us going because there are... People doing so much good work. Right. I, I keep feeling, oh my God, you're not doing enough. And then people say, no, 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 you're doing enough. Mm. But what I'm saying is that uh, you just have to be grounded enough to say that we are fortunate that we are getting this opportunity. Terrific. Terrific. So my next question, Latika, is what would be three words that define Latika? Um, attitude. Okay. So I have an attitude to, to take on anything. Mm. 
I'm an optimist. Okay. I still believe the world, uh, the, the India will go through. Uh, you know, we will we will be beyond religion and mm -hmm. everything. So I'm an optimist, uh, total optimist. And uh, and I think uh, the third thing is that uh, I'm happy to uh, get my hands That's dirty. Right. Uh, I'm happy to do anything. Nothing, no work is like I stand on the sites and if you see some of the sites which we work on are full of filth and uh, garbage and mm -hmm. all that. We have got and worked and cleaned it up. Just, there's no work which I'm not ready to do. Fantastic. That's fantastic. So two more questions for you. One question is on failure and I have uh, speak a lot about failure. Yeah. Um, because if for Indians and probably most South Asians or Asians, we don't teach our children it's okay to fail. Yeah. And that manifests itself in all kinds of our behaviors on traffic lights and aircraft and whatever else. What have been some of your learnings from your, some of your mistakes or your failures? Uh, so, uh, I think uh, when I think of it, there are, there must be, there, there are a lot of failures sure. in terms of, we all uh, have uh, yeah. I mean, when we started I Am Gurga also, it could have been done in a very different manner. It could have been uh, more organized. We are a mom and pop shop in many ways. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, the way I look at uh, uh, things is that I have an ability to forget things which are not going wrong, which are going wrong. So you keep moving on. Jo gaya so gaya, kind of an attitude. And uh, my attitude with my boys also was that uh, it was really funny when we used to go and get the report card. You got the report card and I never reacted after that, whether it was good or bad. And they was too further, what's wrong with the mother, you know, I mean, the other parents were getting angry. It was an exam, it was a report, what do you say to them, it's okay or wrong, it's okay. So they, uh, and you learn to, uh, and that's the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the way I am, Correct. you know, I, I'm happy to accept failures, uh, move on, learn. Uh, my only thing is that how can we all become better people um, and, and how can all of us who are such privileged lot can be more giving. So I think that's each one of us should that's be looking right. at. We are so I privileged. Agree. I agree. We have with so you. much. I completely uh, agree with you. Yeah, money, everything. Yeah. We just have to give yeah. opportunities. Uh, and not give to our children. No, give no. to others. I agree. <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> not leave for your only yes. children. I think yes. we have to be absolutely spreading it. So my last question yeah. to you. You know, and uh, this is about you again. You know, after such a successful stint with I am Gurda, what next? Politics. No. no, politics is not for me. And um, you, well, you don't want to get elected as the representative from Gurda? No. And do I, even more? No, no, no. Uh, not as part of uh, agenda, no ambition. Uh, I want to look at retirement. Is what I was telling, <laughs> I said that this is the last project I'm going to deliver and have to get somebody else who takes over I am Gurgaon and do it. I don't know. I keep saying yeah. every year I keep yeah. saying and yeah. uh, that I'm going to retire. But at least it'll take three years more for the projects which we already have in hand. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I am Gurgaon will continue sure. and we have brought it to a level where it, it will, will keep growing. Yeah, yeah. it will keep yeah. growing and, and we are uh, we are happy to be working with the government who is actually trusting us with their projects. You know, I mean, I think we should be grateful that they are happy to work with you. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. So, uh, Latika, thank you very much for coming thank on you. the show. Thank you for but more importantly, thank you for everything you're doing for good. <laughs> thank I you. think there will be thousands of people who must be blessing you every day yeah. for all the steps. I'm sure. Do. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Brand Called You podcast. Be sure to visit tbcy.in to join the conversation, access show notes and discover fantastic bonus content. You can follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Simply search for the Brand Called You. Thank you and see you next week.